Hey what's up guys this is 3D Bonfire back with an amazing tutorial and this time I want to talk about Marvelous Designer plus Cinema 4D and how you can use both of them to create amazing abstract 3D art alright something like this. Here is another project where I also use Marvelous Designer plus Cinema 4D by the way the bubble wrap shader I share in another YouTube tutorial okay so just check out my YouTube channel. And more of this craziness with Cinema 4D, Marvelous Designer, Octane, X Particles, all of the good stuff you will basically find also on my Patreon, okay? So if you want to have more, please check it out, man. Alright, so let's switch to Pure Ref. And as I already mentioned, this course is all about abstract 3D art with Marvelous Designer and Cinema 4D, okay? Therefore, we will go to a site which is called Scan the World. And there we will just download a statue. I go with the very well-known David statue here, all right. And then we can play with uh, abstract shapes on him, uh, do something like this. I mean, this looks just awesome, in my opinion. <laughs> okay, you can see here the materials, they are also pretty gorgeous. And today it's not about the materials and stuff because this will be, I guess, on Patreon exclusive where I share all of the shaders. This one, by the way, is on YouTube. So if you want to create a bubble wrap, check my channel on YouTube. But all of this, man, I just love it. And I will show you how to do the making it beautiful with the materials, octane and stuff later. But I think today it's basically about going into Marvelous Designer, build some donut shape. I mean, these are not donuts. All of that basically started with the idea how to make a swim ring, okay? So I just wanted to see how abstract I can go with this topic. And I think also that would be funny to create something like this. I also like the, the look of the material here. So this is quite beautiful. And the wrinkles, of course. Oh, what happened here? Nice fringes here. Anyway, I also like these ones. So I think later when I'm a bit more advanced with you guys, then we can also create some more complex inflated creatures, for example. But today we basically are aiming to create a swim ring. I just love these wrinkles, honestly. And I push it a bit further with my swim rings. Okay, so some of them are more inflated. And some of them don't have so much air inside of them to get these crazy structures here and there. And I think this is this is just beautiful stuff, man. So this is Marvelous Designer. And you can see later in Cinema 4D, we can put all kinds of materials, lighting on it and make it really beautiful. But as I said today, we are focusing on the Marvelous Designer part. And by the way, here are a couple more shots from what I did on Patreon. Okay, so there I show you also how to put a nice garment onto your character. I mean, oh man, this, is, this looks just so beautiful. And uh, look at this. What a nice outfit. I mean, I love this coat and stuff, but I think, oh man, Marcus, you should focus on the training, okay? So let's continue. All right, so I would suggest you to visit the site myminifactory.com, scan the world, okay? And this is the place with a lot of 3D scanned objects and the resolution is just insane. They look incredible at least most of them okay so i went with the michelangelo's david statue because i think this is just an amazing piece of art all right but of course you can put your swimming also around for example the venus de milo or whatever you prefer so that would also look amazing just feel creative and download something that you like and then we meet again in our 3D software of choice, all right? All right, and I promise this is the last time I talk about my Patreon, but if you are in need of more of the good training, okay, then this would be the right place for you. Just select one of the tiers. I, of course, would suggest you to select Tutorial Nights because there you get the full package, all right? It's patreon.com 3D Bonfire, okay? So now let's get started. All right, and you can see this is the David statue from my mini factory. It really looks amazing, okay? so. Thank you so much for the effort to scan all of these statues. And by the way, I just wanted to avoid that YouTube is banning this video. So that's why I put a sphere here. So now if you have it in Cinema 4D, just go to export and export it as an FBX. And then we meet in Marvelous Designer. All right, in Marvelous Designer, just go to File, Import, FBX and open your FBX. Okay, so millimeter, I think this is okay. Oh, this is helpful. So I think our statue is quite small with this import. So I would just put this one to 300, for example. Let's see. 
All right, cool. So this is our statue. And now I think we want to create our first garment here. Okay, so I hope you are a little bit familiar with Marvelous Designer because this is not a beginner's course. But anyway, I can just quickly at least talk about the navigation here. So I navigate with the mouse with the right click. I can pan around my scene. I'm sorry, rotate. When I click the middle mouse button, this is panning. Okay, so I just hold it. And when I go up and down with my middle mouse wheel, then I can zoom, all right. So this is pretty simple. Of course, in your case, if you are not happy with it, you can also go to the user settings and just change this to your liking, okay? So mine is set to the regular mouse. I'm used to it, but uh, feel free to change this one. Also, one last thing here, you can see my gizmo is aligned to the work coordinates. Maybe in your case, this would be set up to the screen coordinates, which doesn't make any sense, okay? so. Just set this one to world coordinate or local coordinates and then you are fine. We don't need to talk about all of these buttons because we just learn it by doing it. So we want to create a swim ring and therefore we want to use an ellipse here, okay? So this will help you to create your first garment like a textile. And if you hold down the left button, then you will get this drop down menu. You go to ellipse, all right? Now I zoom out in the 2D view here and I think I just want to create a circle. All right, and you can also see now this is also created in the 3D world. So this is nice. If you want to check the resolution here, you can go to the viewports here, click this one. Okay, so this is already reasonable dense. So I think this is already giving us quite some good resolution. So when I hold down the left mouse button and click on this one, go to the fast simulation mode. Now I could just simulate this one and you can see we would have our first garment here, okay? So control Z to go back because that's not really what we want to do here because we want to have a swim ring, right? And I think a swim ring should at least have a hole inside of it, all right? So I just double click on my outline here, right click and go to offset as internal line. Okay, so now I get a clean offset here, but that's not enough. So I try 150, still not enough, maybe 200. That seems to be a good number here. So I click OK. And now I get this inner outline. I just right click it and let's say convert this one to a hole. Okay, perfect. So. This will basically be already one half of our donut of our swim ring, right? So I just think this is already good in the size ratio here. I just think I want to make it just a little bit more interesting. So why don't we just select this line once more, go to offset as internal line and this time just make 20 or 10 to get like a stripe around the edge here. Okay, that's nice. And now this is already selected right click and just cut and sew this. Okay, so this will be cut and then sewed together. And therefore we will get like a ring here that we can apply a different material to. Okay, so that's nice and lovely. You know what, I just want to try something new here this time. So I think I go with the internal line tool here and I will create a line from here to there. That's nice, double click it. And I think I will also do it from here to there. Double click it. Okay, that's cool. And I think I want to select both of these lines. Holding down shift will give you a double selection here. Right click and cut and sew. And now we will have like this line through our swim ring. And I think this will look just more interesting. Okay, so now I just select this one and say copy. And now paste it over there. All right, so you can see this is the front part and the back part of our donut. And now we should sew this one together, right? So I will just give me more screen estate here. And I think I want to select this one. Or you know what, I will select both of them, rotate it, okay, and uh, move it over here. So now I will only select this one. This will be the top part. And then we will sew it together. But you can already see, you can't see it because we are in a thickness mode. So if you go to this one, you can see this is your outer shell part and this is the inner part. So the normals here go outwards and inwards. So basically when we sew it together like this, then you will have the outside part at the inside. So basically to not make this too complicated, just select all of this one, right click and flip the normals. Okay, so now we have only the dark parts inside and that's the correct alignment. All right, so we have different sewing machines here. I will select this one, for example, and now I will just sew 
this one to this one. Okay, that's nice. We'll sew this one together. Just click here and there to sew all of these parts together. Rotate to the other side. Do the same here and there and here and there. Okay, perfect. All right, so I think we could just simulate this one. And there is a fast simulation mode, which will give you more errors. So sometimes you will have penetrating areas here and there. The normal mode is slower, but will be more accurate. So I think for now I will just go with the fast mode and simulate this. And there you can see already some intersections. So sometimes I like to just hold down W, just make a pin here and there, all right. And then I will just try to stretch this one. All right, it's already not that easy. Give me another point here and there. Let's see if I can just get this into the right shape here. Okay, just really stretch it. Okay, so now you can see I got rid of all of these errors. So as I said, this fast mode sometimes will just give you these errors, but you can see we got rid of them. But to be honest, this is a pretty poor, poor swim ring, right? So I think we should just apply some magic trick to it, select all of it, all right, and now go down to the pressure setting and slowly increase it. Let's see, put it to 24, all right. Okay, now this is looking a bit funny because we have these pinpoints here. So if you hold down STRG W, now you can get rid of these points. All right, and basically this is our swim ring, right? So not that bad. You can also see we have like this ring around it and there we could apply some different materials. So why don't we just do it? So I click on add add two materials. The first one, I will give something like a brown tone, all right. And the second one, I will give it something like a more red tone, okay. Now you can select all of these pieces. You can select in the 2D area or the 3D area. So I will select all of them. And let's say this is brown, okay. But our rings, they will be like red and maybe white, that's also cool, but I think I want to make both of them red. Okay, pretty nice. All right, so now we could introduce some more polygons maybe, so let's just double check it. Okay, so this is really low res. Okay, so I will select both of them. This one to 10. Let's uh, see it again in the rendered view. Okay, we get some beautiful wrinkles here and there. Let me just double check the pressure. So maybe we want to decrease it. Oh no, <laughs> all right. So just be really careful with it. It's a bit sensitive. So I go with 13, okay. So we also get this nice wrinkles here and there. I really love it. All right, I think this is already a nice swim ring. All right, and now the task would be to put this ring over our statue, okay? And to be honest, when you are in the fast GPU mode, this can give you quite some crazy errors, okay? So I guess just to be on the safe side, for now I will just pause this one, put our resolution back to 20, make it a little bit more low res, all right? So you can see now this is more low res. And now I think there is one more thing to do before we go further. So select our statue and set the skin offset to something really low. We don't want to have an offset from our statue to our ring because we just want to have it really close and narrow, right? So maybe we can even set this one to zero, okay? And I think now I just want to simulate it. Go to the normal simulation because this will just give you less errors, okay? Now I will just double you click on it to create a pinpoint here. So I can move my ring up, all right? So let's just see if we can do that. I'll put it here, all right? Now be really careful, put it over his head. And now just put it here. Okay, maybe something like that. Okay, so I think that's cool. And let's see when we release our pinpoint with control W. All right, so now this is hanging on his shoulder. I think that's cool. You can still create a pinpoint here. All right, and now just arrange it into a position that you like. So just go up here so you can 
create some folds here, something like that, for example. All right. Oh, no. Now we are losing it. OK, so I think a good idea would be to create another pinpoint. Move this one up here. OK, so just massage it into position. Something like that. So I will leave both of these pinpoints. And now, I mean, that looks cool. You could now just duplicate this one to make it even more interesting, right? So just select it, copy, click and paste. Give me another donut here. And you know what? We can just select this one, move it up here. I think we just want to double you click on these pinpoints to get rid of these ones. Now I just want to create two materials. Let's say this one will be, hmm, oh, that's always a tough decision. I think I go with a blue tone. All right. And another one, which is greenish. Okay. Now I will select these donut parts. I always say donut, but you know, it's a swim ring. <laughs> and Just go here, um, put this one to green tone, go over there, make this one also green. Now, the magic moment is near, so let's simulate it. And there, the magical donut is falling down on the other one. Okay, now I just want to double you click, give me a point here, select it, and put this one, for example, here. All right, so I just put it wherever I like it. Give me another pin here, select it. Move it closer to his body. All right, and basically this is what I did of all of these rings around the David statue, okay? Now, just to make this more beautiful, I think it's time to select both of them. And now select the particle distance and put it, for example, to six. Now you have to wait a little bit because this is really dense now, okay? And we can see how beautiful this would look. When I simulate it, all right, and just look at all of these beautiful wrinkles. Okay, so this looks just awesome. And I think this will be already enough for this first lesson of abstract 3D swim ring art. Okay, of course, you can see you can push this way further and get these most amazing wrinkles here and there. Just be as crazy as you want to be. And then I think later, in the next part, we will put this one into Octane to Cinema 4D and make all of this amazing materials. Okay, that looks just stunning. But as I said, this will be part of the next training. For now, I just want to ask you, so if you like this training, please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, do whatever, write a comment and just feel amazing. Okay, so see you in the next training. Thank you so much for listening. Bye, guys.